All right, in this video, we're going to do long division. All right, and after we do long division, and I'll tell you what this is used for in terms of the remainder and factor theorems. All right, long division, just what, like what it is, but this time we just have polynomials with variables and all that wonderful stuff. All right, so you're going to make sure this part here is in standard form, and you're going to put it in missing, any missing terms with a zero, since it's a quadratic. Then you should have a linear and constant. So we're not missing any terms. So I can just go ahead and put it just like it looks. I'm going to divide it by, and then I'm going to put x minus 3. All right, the key in doing this is you're always going to be looking at the first term here to the first term here. Right? And you ask yourself this question. What can I multiply by x? That would give me a positive 3x squared. Well, that would be 3x. So therefore, you write that above. See, this is two terms. You're going to go one, two terms. So we'll put it right above here. The linears go above each other, the quadratics, constants, and so on. Now you're going to take the 3x, and you're going to multiply it to these two terms. So you're going to do 3x times x, which is 3x squared. 3x times a negative 3 is a negative 9x. Just like in long division, you always subtract. All right? So I'm subtracting terms. So I'm going to subtract this. And since I'm doing 11x minus a negative 9x, so this becomes a positive. In other words, you change the signs because you're subtracting. So I subtract, I get 0. And that's what you want to happen. If not, then you got to go back and change this because you did not multiply by the correct <clears throat> the correct um, value. So 11 plus 9 is 20x, and now you bring down the next term. All right, and then we look at the first term again. Look at the first term. x times what will give me 20x? Well, the x is already there, so that means I just have to multiply by 20. It would be a positive 20. So I'll do 20 times x is 20x. 20 times a negative 3 is a negative 60. Right. Subtract, so that means I change the signs, and I just do it. So I get 0, and I get 61. So this means this is my remainder. I have a remainder of 61. So when I take this quadratic and I divide it by a linear, I get this new polynomial. Right. Let me write it like this. 3x plus 20 plus the remainder, 61. And remember, in regular long division, you take the remain, remainder and you always put it over what we divided by. And this will be your answer. Now, in the remainder and factor theorems, what it states that if I have a remainder that is zero, then that means this right here becomes a factor of the polynomial. And factors or what give me my zeros or my solutions for equations. Right? Since the remainder is not zero, that means x minus 3 is not a factor. So x minus 3 is not a factor. All right? So two things here. Do a long division and determine what the remainder is. We determine if what you're dividing by is a factor or not and then how you take your answer and rewrite it after the division. All right, so let's do one more example. All right, this one, all right, so it's already in standard form, so you've got two x to the fourth, so after the four be three, oops, three, then after three is two, but there's no quadratic, there's no a variable with a uh, exponent of two, so we gotta put that in there then the linear, and then the constant. Okay, put that, put the divide symbol. Now this goes in the front, x squared minus 2x plus 2. Now I'm dividing by three terms, which is nice because I'll make this process go a lot quicker. <clears throat> All right, so again, just as before, you look at the first terms. What can I multiply by x squared? That will give me 2x to the fourth. So that would be 2, I can multiply by 2x squared, and that gives me 
two x squared. So I got one, two, three. So I go one, two, three, and I put the two x squared right here. Now I'll take the two x squared and multiply through. So two x squared times x squared is two x to the fourth minus four x cubed plus four x squared. I'm subtracting, so I change the signs. So that gives me zero, which you always want. You want the first part to always be zero. Here I get seven x cubed, and then I get a negative four x squared. Now I have two terms here. I'm dividing by three terms, so that means I must bring down the next term and repeat the process. Looking at the first term, first term. So I must multiply this by 7x. All right, so 7x times x squared is 7x cubed. 7 times that would be negative 14x squared plus 14x. Change the signs because we are subtracting. That goes to 0. Then we get 10x squared. Uh, minus 9x. There's two terms here. I'm dividing by 3, so I'll bring down the last term <clears throat> and do the process again. So here I must multiply by 10. So it gives me 10x squared. 10 times this is negative 20x plus 20. Change the signs. That goes to 0. Um, left with 11x minus 21. So the rest right here is my remainder. So since the remainder is not 0, that means x squared minus 2x plus 2 is not a factor. And to write my solution, I write it as 2x squared plus 7x plus 10 plus the remainder, 11x minus 21, over what you divided by, x squared minus 2x plus 2. And there you go. All right. So in <clears throat> in your book work, don't worry about if it's a factor or not. I just want you to be able to write out your answers like this. All right. Just work on the process. <clears throat>